Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Boman Lusambo reveals shocking details about what will happen to UPND in 2026. New Dawn government will be kicked out of power in 2026 by the people of Zambia, says Boman Lusambo. Watch the entire video, my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Kabush Member of Parliament Boman Lusambo has alleged that the New Dawn government will be kicked out of power in 2026 by the people of Zambia. Mr. Lusambo, the former Lusaka Province Minister, said the UPND government has failed the people of Zambia in the four months it has been in power. He said it is not too early to see that the UPND government of President Haga Inde Ichlema is not taking Zambians anywhere. Featuring on a radio Ichengelo program, Mr. Lusambo said the UPND has U-turned on its main promises, among them reducing fuel and electricity prices. He said in the first four months of being in power, the UPND government has not set the base of ensuring that Zambia becomes prosperous. Mr. Lusambo said the government has made harsh decisions like the removal of subsidies on fuel and electricity that will affect the majority of poor Zambians. He said many Zambians have been left frustrated by the harsh decisions being implemented by the government. Mr. Lusambo said the people of Zambia have not seen the value of changing the government from PF to UPND. The UPND is going out of government in 2026 because the people of Zambia have regretted changing government. People can't go into 2026 with UPND. I'm happy that the people of Zambia are regretting because we told them that President Haka Inde Ichlema can't govern because he is only good at privatization, Mr. Lusambo said. Zambians are doubting. Thomas says now they have seen for themselves. Mr. Haka Inde has failed. This is the way people fail. Like I said, in the 100 Days Foundation, you can see whether there is progress or not. You can't even tell whether this government is going or coming. Failing can be seen even in three months. Just like building, you can tell from the foundation that this structure will collapse. He said. Mr. Lusambo said he doesn't agree with people saying it is too early to criticize the UPND government. They were saying Barry will fix it. They were saying electricity and fuel will go down, but we are yet to see that. People are not interested in increases in prices. People want cheaper fuel and electricity. This is a deceitful government. If you go into the office as president, within 100 days, you should set your foundation. Free education foundation, fuel reduction foundation, he said. Mr. Lusambo added that the UPND has also U-turned its promises not to appoint political cadres into the civil service. Another lie, the UPND said they will remove politics from the civil service. We don't want politicians to be civil servants. Now look at the list of appointed people. We have seen that permanent secretaries are cadres, deputy permanent secretaries are cadres, and the district commissioners are all cadres. They have brought new permanent secretaries and new deputy permanent secretaries and new district commissioners who do not know anything leaving behind directors who have institutional memory of these provinces and ministries. These new permanent secretaries and new deputy permanent secretaries are yet to grasp a thing so as we speak, government business is stagnant. 
These people are just watching each other in offices, he said. Meanwhile, Mr. Lusambo said the recent charges revealed against the arrested former PF government ministers won't go anywhere. Zambia is a country of law and law. In Zambia, we say there is no one above the law. But what we are seeing, the arrests of people who served in the PF government does not mean they committed crimes. It is just these people being arrested that are giving pressure on President Hitchlema. Many people talk about corruption. Tell me anyone who was arrested and jailed for corruption in the previous government. These are not corruption cases. What you are seeing is persecution. These cases are not going anywhere, Mr. Lusambo said. Former Foreign Affairs Minister Joseph Malanji, former Home Affairs Minister Stephen Campiongo, former Water Development Minister Rafael Nakachinda, and former Secretary to the Treasury Dr. Fredson Yamba are some of the former PF officials recently arrested. Mr. Malanji is charged with Dr. Yamba on charges of willful failure to comply with the law when they transferred over 154.2 million kwacha to the Zambian mission in Turkey without following the law on supplementary expenditure as provided by Article 203 of the Zambian Constitution. Police have also arrested, warned and cautioned Mr. Campiongo for the offense of endangering safety contrary to Section 8F of CAP 445, Safety of Civil Aviation Act of the Laws of Zambia. While Mr. Nakachinda has been charged with defamation of the President. More news to come, my lovely viewers. Make sure you subscribe to this channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below. And also turn on the bell icon to join the notification squad. For now, I'm out. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.